And I've been showing horses 50 years or more. I've been in the blacksmith business probably 40 years. Other than my horseshoes, we make a lot of trinkets like hook picks, uh, poker sets for fireplaces, S hooks. Well, we're going to have a meeting up there. It's a normal blacksmith meeting for the North Texas Blacksmith Association. And then we're going to have some demonstrations and different people doing different things and more or less just to get together. There's the toe bend. That'll fit that toe right there. This one works real good because when you get your handle on it, this little arch in it right here would automatically, when I hook that bell of hay and go, go to get my hand off, I rock my wrist down there, it'll automatically kick that point up out of that bell of hay. Which a lot of these hooks you, you can go to the store and buy don't do that. A lot of new people getting into this, they don't really know what's going on. So you get them old folks like me up there, we'll help, we'll show them, and if I don't know something, I'll find somebody that does, you know? It, it, you gotta help each other, otherwise this craft's gonna die out. We've got several of them. You've got the artist of a blacksmith artist of America. They do your, your fancy sculpture and stuff. Then you've got your, oh, I don't know what they call them. Your general blacksmith, he does farm work. Now these people that builds, builds these rod iron fences, they're actually a blacksmith, but they're specialized into a certain, certain thing. Like me, I just do a little bit of everything. I'm not picky. If I can get it in that fire, I'll bend it. <laughs>